following broadcast is a production of HCC TV. Hi, I'm Justin Boyd. Hi, I'm George Luna. I'm Brittany Pacheco. And I'm Frank Cooper. And we are The, the Watchers, Watchers in the, the Basement. basement. Welcome to the debut episode of The Watchers in the Basement. We are coming to you from Main Street Studios here at HCC TV. And just as our name indicates, we are in the basement and it's cold down here. Winter, winter is, is coming. coming. Actually, winter is here. And the reason for that is we're here to talk about Game of Thrones. The final season's coming up and we're here to get you caught up on all the action from the storylines, the characters, who's going to live, who's going to die. Uh, before we get going, though, let's talk about it's Well, we need to get caught up. It's been a couple of years since there's been an episode of Game of Thrones. 627 days. 14 hours and counting. Love how you knew I, that. I knew you would know that. <laughs> okay, so let's get caught up. What's going on in Westeros? So Daenerys Targaryen and all her many, many titles has finally come to Westeros to her ancestral home of Dragonstone with her Ancelli, Dothraki, and her dragon children. In case you don't know, she's known as the mother of dragons. And she's planning her invasion of King's Landing. Okay, and uh, Samuel Tully is at the Citadel trying to become a maester and learning how to defeat the White Walkers and the Night King. We're finding out that Dragonglass is what's going to help them uh, conquer this. So. And Jon Snow, a.k.a. Aegon Targaryen, he, he's, on this, he's on this path of trying to defeat the White Walkers, but he finds, he finds out through a raven by, from Sam that Dragonstone can kill White Walkers. So uh, against the Lord's wishes of the, of the North, he goes south to... Dragonstone talked to Daenerys. She's all about clicking up, but the only problem is she wants him to bend the knee. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So Sansa, the interim wardeness of the North, has reunited with her siblings, Bran, now the three-eyed raven, and Arya, a faceless assassin. After some ups and downs, the siblings come together to charge and execute uh, Littlefinger for his crimes of conspiring with the Lannisters to murder the former king's hand, John Arryn, and murdering his bride, Liza Arryn. And uh, also we have Cersei, Queen of Westeros, uh, has both figuratively and literally burned all her bridges <laughs> with just about everyone except her uh, brother slash lover, Jaime. And uh, she took revenge on Ilaria Sand, killing her daughter, Tyene, by using the same poison that was used to uh, kill her daughter, Marcella. Mm -hmm. So also she promised Euron Greyjoy, her new ally, that she would marry him when the war is over. Mm -hmm. Well, a gang led by Jon Snow, they go beyond the wall to try to get proof to bring back to King's Landing to say, hey, these White Walkers are real. Only problem is they get attacked by White Walkers. Daenerys gets a raven in time. She goes up north with the three dragons to stop them. Only problem is Viserion is sacrificed in, in, the, uh, in the middle of it through an ice javelin by uh, the Night King. So he, the Night King he now has an ice dragon. That's cool. Guys. R plus L equals J, oh, yeah. finally, <laughs> finally. We finally see this vision uh, through Bran's eyes and we learn that Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen, which basically her kidnapping, supposed kidnapping, mm -hmm. began Robert's Rebellion, actually isn't true. Lyanna and Rhaegar were married, oh my God. And not only that, Jon Snow is not a bastard at all. He's actually the son to Lyanna and Rhaegar, making him the rightful heir to the Iron Throne, which also makes him the nephew to Daenerys. Um, and we learn all of this as Jon and Danny are hooking up in the season finale. Awkward. There. Lots of good stuff there. So now we're caught up on season seven. Let's talk about season eight. And in honor of the eighth and final season of the, of the series, I have eight questions that need answers. Need answers okay. from the people here. So let's start. First question, will Jon Snow, or should I say Aegon Targaryen, survive the final season? I think he will. I think he's one of those characters. I, I honestly feel like with Game of Thrones that everyone mm. thought that Ned Stark was like the main character, right? But yeah. he didn't make it past season one. I very much feel that Jon Snow is the main character in Game of Thrones. This whole series is based on his uh -huh. story from being a bastard in Winterfell to becoming uh, part of the Night's Watch and then becoming Lord Commander and now in the position that he's in being king in the North. So yeah. I think he's got to survive. He's got to survive one way or another. I, I agree. I think he, he has to survive and uh, they, they already, he died once before. That's like true. why 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 would they 
let him die and then come back and just die again. So I think I think he's gonna be just as good. Nice yeah, <laughs> well, that's true. But I think he'll be okay. I think this show is uh, it. It's all about the the huge misdirection. Mm. And like, I mean, in season one, we thought Nail was the main character. Like, well, that can never he can never die. He's He's the key, right? right. Yeah. He gets he gets he gets murked, you know, right? And then like, and he's gonna be the king. Yeah, what we all thought was he ultimately right. was going to be the king after Robert died. Yeah. So yeah. And then, yeah. And then when Ned dies, Rob takes a, a big a big character arc. Like mm -hmm. he becomes like the focal point of the North. Then he gets murked. Mm -hmm. And then you know then 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 Jon Snow carries that carries that title and he dies in season five. I just I don't think George R. Martin is that cruel to kill a, a pivotal character twice. In, in one series, I, I, I would hope yeah. not. And like, um, I mean, the series is called Song of Ice and Fire, and based on the series, based on the title, you think that it's talking about John and Danny, mm -hmm. but in, in the could be it's him. talking about it, yeah, it could be him because yeah. um, mm -hmm. he's 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 part he's part ice, he's part fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I never thought about that way. Yeah, yeah so I no, think yeah, so I think overall, I don't think John would die. No, okay. no, that'd be just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we think Cersei is really pregnant? And if so, who is the father? Or maybe is someone else pregnant? I think so. The <laughs> prophecy. So the prophecy in season five. Um, she goes to. She goes to. There's, there's a flashback. She's talking to a soothsayer, and she talks about how the soothsayer says, "You will have three children, and the king will have, I think, twenty on the show. Was it or sixteen? Somewhere around there. I, I get. The, I get the. I get the books and yeah. the show mixed up. But um, I think she is pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now, whether or not that baby makes it out alive, mm -hmm. I don't think. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I also think someone else is pregnant too, but I don't know. Uh, we'll we get to that later. But yeah, I, I do think she's pregnant. Okay. I, I agree with that. I, I do very much think that Cersei's pregnant because one of the uh, points that Tyrion wants to make about her sister is that, you know, aside from her cheekbones, the best quality about Cersei is that she loves her children. And so I would think that she wouldn't be making this up. I, I don't know. She's pretty cunning, she's pretty monstrous in, in many ways, but. Um, I very much do think she's pregnant. I very much think it's Jamie's, um, mm. her twin brother and lover. Again, awkward. Um, but, like Frank's point, I don't know if this child will like survive because the show doesn't really touch on this, but in the books, um, they talk about that, that prophecy that you mentioned in, in the Volunquar, or Volunquar. I can't pronounce it, sorry. Mm. But uh, the prophecy basically says that Cersei will die uh, by the hands of her little brother. Meaning, everyone thinks it's Tyrion because quite literally he is the little brother. Mm -hmm. He is the youngest of the Lannister clan. However, Jamie, her twin, is the younger twin of the of the of the two. Mm -hmm. um, but in my mind, kind of weird. Not sure if it makes sense. Even though Jamie and Cersei are siblings, like would their child not just be their child, but would it also be, be a sibling? A sibling, right. exactly. So maybe because of that prophecy, <laughs> maybe because of that prophecy, she. I don't know, dies in childbirth or miscarries mm. or... Where the baby grows up and like 16 years later <laughs> kills, the, kills her. It's like a exactly, long time, right? like we get another series so, or something. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be kind of that's, cool. That's, that's a good point because that would be her, her, her son slash daughter slash sibling slash... I don't know if it makes sense truly because... No. I don't know, in, in my mind, that's kind of what I want to That's very twisted, <laughs> but yeah. this is George R. So exactly, I exactly. Surprised. I mean, you've read the books. I haven't read the books. I've read like part of the first book. But I have I'm not as knowledgeable as but Frank is. <laughs> I dis I disagree with both of them. I think I think she's lying. Oh, she, she's lying. tell me why? Cause why? she's she I think she's doing to manipulate Tyrion <laughs> to try and get him to betray Danny by like lying and say I'm pregnant mm -hmm. and. Tyrion cared about all her kids except for Joffrey. And his, his family oh, also. It's part of his and family it's, it's part, too. Yeah. yeah. That's true. So right. that's she, true. I think she's playing like some kind of con on him. She wants like Tyrion to feel bad for her and like try and help her out or something. Because mm -hmm. basically he got uh, yeah. her kids killed. Yeah. Like, so. Did uh, he though? Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he sent Marcella yeah. off to Dorne. Yeah, that's it. But. That's, I mean, she wasn't like treated so they didn't, yeah. poorly in Dorne. Till the end, like, well, well, she was poisoned by. But he. But a family that hated her family, so. Yeah, yeah but I don't, he, he, he wasn't there when Tom and, like, committed suicide. Well, yeah, that, that, so. that too, but. I mean, I, Joffrey I needed to die. I mean, oh let's just God. understand that. Joffrey needed yes. to die. I don't care who did it, he needed to die. Yeah, and it's still not satisfying. <laughs> so, 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 you think Cersei lied to Jamie as well? Because Jamie thinks that Cersei's pregnant too. That's true. Yeah, I think she lied to him too. That, that's actually a good point because. She probably sees that Jamie is like trying to maybe weigh like yeah. the outcomes of, of this because 
she wants to keep him on her side. And if she sees him swaying, how is he? How is she yeah. going to bring him back? And that's oh, the reason I'm to pregnant keep him with in. your yeah. child. Mm-hmm. So that that's does. That's, there's some validity behind that. I still think she actually is pregnant, but I can see your point yeah. about like. Yeah, we'll, we'll, being we'll see. I guess devious. we'll see. So we, a lot of Tyrion talk in there. So speaking of him, will he betray Danny? Yeah, I, th- I already said so. I, I, I think, think so. she's yeah. gonna she's gonna yeah. try to, right. and it'll probably happen. So okay, not in like a uh, maybe like by withholding something, not telling her something, but like totally betraying her, like switching sides. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. You know, we've talked about this before. Um, when Tyrion was hand when Joffrey was still king. Mm-hmm. Um, Tyrion, you know, did pretty well as being Hand. You know, th- th- he pretty much devised a whole battle plan for uh, Blackwater Bay yeah. and, you know, defeated Stannis and his army and what have you. And, and he kind of, you know, reigned in the small council. Um, he learned who he could trust and who he mm-hmm. couldn't. Um, he kind of put Cersei in, in her place as well, which is, you know, yeah. she's not used to that. Um, and especially by Tyrion because she kind of hates Tyrion. Um, but... Since Tyrion has left Westeros and has met up with Daenerys, I don't think he's really done a great job being like an advisor, let alone a hand. So I think in ways he might have like the good intentions of wanting to serve his new queen. However, I think poor decision making is going to lead to what may be perceived as a betrayal. Because Danny has already been betrayed yeah. by you know Jorah, Jorah. and and you know, a couple times actually. Um, and there was already some riff between the two of them in, in season seven, yeah. you know, because Danny's fighting against Tyrion's family. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she thinks maybe his heart actually isn't in her cause. Maybe he's just trying to, you know, save his family. So I'm not sure. I mean, it's, it could go either way. The, the word betray is a strong word. Um, does he entirely switch sides? I don't think he does. Mm-hmm. Is he withholding information, probably, and like yeah. someone conspiring to like try to save Cersei and, and his family, his Lancer family? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. If, if we if we go back to the season finale, when you know John, Honorable John, uh, told <laughs> Ter- Cersei, right? I, I'm not. I can't. I can't. Serve. Bend you, I can't serve you. I, mm-hmm. I already serve another. And speaking to Daenerys, right. she storms off. Well, the scene in the chamber um, of, of of Cersei and Tyrion talking. Cersei kind of pretty much tells Tyrion, hey, I'm pregnant, I'm, and this is, this is my future here. Mm. And Tyrion's, his whole demeanor changes. Like, That's true. And like, he, I, I think even though he's not directly at fault for um, Tommen's murder or Joffrey's murder, he, he feels, he does feel bad about Marcella and Tommen dying. And I think he yeah. still carries that guilt. That, it weighs on him. Mm-hmm. And I think this baby that, that, that is potentially in Cersei's uh, stomach he wants to right his wrongs and try to prove, like, hey, I love, I do love my family. You know, for years, this family has wronged me. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I've always loved you guys, and I would, I would do anything for you. I can see him, I can see him cutting a deal, a side deal with Cersei. Yeah. And more importantly, the camera cuts out of the of the of yeah. the That's of that true. chamber, of yeah. that chamber, and goes true. back out to drag to the dragon pit. Right. So we don't know what they discussed. So I'm thinking that he's he's gonna try to preserve Cersei and. and and, and, and make a vow to keep that baby safe, or that future baby safe, mm-hmm. unbeknownst to Daenerys. Now, in the eyes of Daenerys, you know she's extra. She's gonna think like, hey, you betrayed me. <laughs> yeah, like, you, with, you withheld mm-hmm. information, you conspired with your sister. You saw in season seven mm-hmm. how all the plans, how Kathleen Rock, that, that plan went awry, and, and mm-hmm. then going to Dorne, the Grey Joys, and, and, and um, the Dorne's going back to, to Dorne to come up to surprise King's Landing. Like, all that went awry, and then like on the beach, uh, Daenerys says, um, you doing it for me? Nah, you doing it for your family. Mm-hmm. So she already has in her mind, like, hey, yeah. you're, 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 you're screwing up, and and, and you, have, and, and you, and you still miss your family. So, right. yeah, I think in, a, in, a, in overall, I think he does withhold information, and Daenerys will see it as betrayal. And and to your point, um, in in season seven with uh, spoils of war, um, better known as the loot train, I guess. Which I don't. Know. Anyway, uh, but Tyrion is is present. At this at this battle, where he's seeing the Lannister army basically being burnt to a crisp by Drogon mm-hmm. and being taken out by the Dothraki, awesome. and yeah, it kind of awesome. is awesome. <laughs> but awesome. but he's seeing this happen, and these are people that you know he's grown up with or he's just known. And then he sees Jamie. He sees Jamie, you know, riding towards 
uh, Daenerys uh, as as she's trying to get this this uh, scorpion yeah. you know tool out of a uh, Drogon, mm-hmm. and and Tyrion saying you know you idiot you idiot you know and and so he has to be torn he has to be torn between the fact that you know that he thinks that Daenerys is probably like the best I guess the best hope for the realm but he's yeah. seeing it at the expense of his family yeah. so. Okay, so going from the, a lot of Lannister talk there, let's go to the Stark clan. Well, sort of. I mean, it's we're talking about Bran now, mm. he, who's now the Three-Eyed Raven, which if you watch the show, no one can really explain what that is. I don't <laughs> not, totally even Brand. Either. not even Bran. Not, not even Bran. Bran. Yeah. Um, so is Bran actually the Night King? Oof. I, I, I don't think Bran is actually the Night King. I, I, I think that would be a huge twist. I'd, I'd be surprised if he was. I, He's more like a computer to me right now. Like, he's, he's, he's pretty robotic. Yeah, yeah. he's super robotic. Do you want to do your impression? Or? No, uh, no. <laughs> not, 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 not that good at it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't You're know. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do think like Bran is going to play a key role in trying to stop the Night King somehow. Mm. I, don't, I don't know how, but like there's theories like floating around that he's going to warg into the Night King as a baby. Like when he went back with Hordor, and I don't know. That's something I read on Reddit, and they, <laughs> trusted they, source. For yeah, that, that, is, that is a trusted source because yeah. they they get a lot yeah. of stuff right. So I I don't know. It, that one was interesting to me because that'd be pretty crazy to see. People have a lot of. Time and then wondering. then like he gets stuck there or something uh, in that timeline. Like oh my gosh. I, I don't know. We'll see. I kind of like relate. Uh, this whole what you just mentioned about Bran, you know, warging, yeah. uh, because we did see him uh, warg into uh, Hodor to yeah. um, escape. R.I.P. R.I.P. Hodor. <sighs> Which is that, I can't watch that episode. Like when I rewatch these episodes, I can't watch that episode because it's just so yes. it's yeah. so sad. Mm-hmm. Um, but we we did see Bran warg into uh, Hodor mm-hmm. uh, in present day, and then young Hodor, better known as Willis, um, back in the day, and. Uh, I think, I don't know, this whole kind of like time loop, you know, it's, it's constantly going. It's kind of like a really weird um, plot. I don't know. I, I saw it in Harry Potter and, and it's like time is just, you know, constantly repeating itself and, and things like that. But I don't know if Bran is the actual Night King per se, but I want to think that maybe Bran Stark is connected to all the other Bran Starks. Um, I think even, and you might agree with this, with uh, Bran the Builder, who mm. um, built the wall that, you know, divides the north from, you know, the wildling territory and therefore the Night King. Um, but there's, I don't think there's like true evidence, but there's just like, there's talk that uh, Bran the Builder is actually a Stark. And you actually might he's know a little bit more. No, oh, he, he is a Stark. Stark. Okay, yeah. well, you've read, again, mm-hmm. he, Frank's read the books, so he knows. <laughs> so, I don't know, what, what do you think? Yeah, so it's like totally nerd out here. Um, <laughs> like, I see I, this comparison with Bran to Neo in the Matrix. Like, we find out mm-hmm. in Matrix yeah. Revolutions that this is a vicious time loop mm-hmm. and it's just a, a series of Neos going through all, going through this time to defeat, to defeat that program, right? Is this like a shot at Keanu Reeves' acting skills or something? Oh, I love the Matrix. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I no, love it. Okay, oh, just, just wondering. No, John Wick's about to now, get now, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, Bill no, I love John Wick, yeah. <laughs> now, Bill and Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bill and Ted, that's a shot. Like I hate Bill and Ted. But Matrix, I, 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 I need I to chime it. in here real quick. Right. I've actually never seen The Matrix. I understand, like, the idea behind it because, like I said, it's been done in Harry Potter. Oh, but man. but I've actually never seen the Matrix. Like no, it's next show yeah. Matrix. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Matrix. Yeah. I gotta watch it though. Oh, yeah. uh, but no, I, I think I don't think he's a Night King per se. Um, but I think this is a vicious time loop, and the mm-hmm. reason why I think that, like you said, the the episode of Ho- the the Hodor episode where the door. We, we find out that he's um how how, how he became Willis to a simpleton. Mm-hmm. I think that that was proof to show that. Bran has been through these timelines over and over again. And I think unbeknownst to Bran, I think when he finally, this version of Bran, when he mm-hmm. finally saw what he did to Hodor, mm-hmm. I think that's when he realized, oh man, I'm, I'm screwing up these timelines. Mm-hmm. So um, I think as, as this season progresses, he'll understand the power that he has in controlling what's, what's yet to come. Mm-hmm. Um, now, is he powerful enough to, to work into Night King? I don't know, because the, the, 
the two or three times that we've seen him try, trying to outsmart the Night King, mm -hmm. the Night King has, yeah. has, has outsmarted him. But was that before or after the Night King touched him? Because... W one, was before, one was before. One was before, one was before. One was, okay. The season premiere of season seven, when he's like, he's, he's working as a raven to venture out he past sees him. Oh, he, he sees the looks, army. He looks straight out. He sees the army, and Night King like, he's like, ah. head, and like, he ended yeah, up, he, he wakes up. Right. Yeah, he wakes yeah. up again. Right. So I think that that shows you how powerful the Night King is. Yeah. Now maybe or maybe over the span of these next five or six episodes coming up, he he finds a way to Jedi himself to become the ultimate <laughs> white, <laughs> ultimate war war master. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think he's a Night King. I do think he's all. I think every Brandon Stark, from Brandon Builder to Brandon Stark, that got killed by uh, the Mad King. I think they're all connected. Um, but like, what if Brand the Builder is the Night King? The original one. The original. Then they're screwed. <laughs> because we did see that the children of the forest, you know, basically Sacrificed created the, the Night King. Yeah. Because uh, they, Leaf uh, was saying that you know we were at war with men, yes. and and we we saw that flashback of uh, the Night King. Well, what would be the Night King? Funny enough, that is the actual actor that plays the Night yeah. King. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of like this trivia stuff. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, but we we see Leaf with uh, Obsidian, uh, which is the dragon glass, mm -hmm. and she she I'm gonna use use the example she pushed it into the chest of, mm -hmm. of uh, the Night King. And we don't know who he was prior, prior to being known as the Night King. Um, and then we see him turn. But there's also theory that maybe Bran the Builder is the Night King. And then to your original question, is Bran the Night King? Mm -hmm. Because then if Bran, Bran, current Bran Stark is, mm -hmm. is Bran, him. is linked to Bran the Builder, yeah. and Bran the Builder is the Night King, then it's like this ongoing. <laughs> Now, I'm sorry. now something just something just popped into my head. So that that's that's that scene in season six where mm -hmm. um, when they show the the flashback of of Leaf or mm -hmm. I guess the turn of the force pushing that drag that drag Leaf. glass was that Leaf mm -hmm. pushing that drag glass into the into that man, mm -hmm. um, and then in present time Brand asks why would you do that? He says because of you. Now what he oh, said they, because they, she said that? she yeah. did say she said you because now, of you, but then she corrects herself and says because we were at war with men. So is that foreshadowing to um, to, to that's suggest a good point. that that that, I, that just I, I just I just remember that scene. I'm, that's I'm a good playing point. that scene in my head like yeah. is, is she saying I think that, everything's written for a reason. Not sure. Yeah, that, 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 that they wouldn't would put that in there just down, yeah. just for fluff. That's so. Yeah. And if we see that like on a previously on this year, then we'll know that you're right. Yeah, yeah. So that's true. So, so Bran obviously is a, uh, he's a powerful character, but he's not, you know, he has magical powers or whatever, <laughs> but let's talk about some, some, some people who are physically powerful. Uh, are we finally going to see the Hound versus the, the Mountain this year? Yes. yes. And if Clegane so, Bowl. Clegane Bowl for sure. So if it happens, how does it go down and who wins? All right. Uh, my money's on the Hound. He has, he's been, <laughs> he's been like thinking about this his whole life to get revenge on his brother and mm -hmm. like. I think that's something that he's just gonna like go all out. Maybe they both die, maybe they don't, but I think I see the how I'm winning. Um, so I, I kind of agree. I kind of like have a different theory about how this is gonna happen. Click Game Bowl, yes, it has to happen. It, everyone's been talking about it for years. And um, the kind of quick background story about that mountain and the hound, uh, Sandor and Gregor Clegane, sorry, um, they're brothers when they were younger. Um, Sandor, the mountain, I'm sorry, Sandor the, the Hound uh, had a toy that belonged to his older brother. His older brother didn't appreciate it. And he, uh, again, I'm gonna use you as the example, he pushed his younger brother's face into the fire. And that is why Brutal. the Good. Hound has the scars that he does. Um, so yeah, there's like this years and years and years of, of like hate just building. Mm. And, and now the mountain is not even the mountain. He's a zombie. Franken mountain, basically. Mm -hmm. And he's huge, by the way. Um, it has to happen. It just has to. I think for viewers, I think for the Hound's purposes. But I, I think the way that this is actually going to happen is that the we know there's a war coming. There's a war coming between the dead and the living. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it'll start at Winterfell, mm -hmm. but it's going to come down to King's Landing. And the only reason why I say that is because at the end, the season finale of season seven, um, we see Jamie is leaving right. King's Landing. He's riding yeah. off. He's putting a, a leather glove over his, his golden hand, and you see a snowflake just drop, and it just dissolved. And so that shows that, you know, the, the long night is here. Basically, winter has come, and it's come all the way down south yeah. to King's Landing. So I just think Winterfell is the beginning of the war, but it's going to continue and probably end at King's Landing. And in the midst of all that, the mountain and the hound are going to get it 
going. Um, I would hope the Hound wins, but I think ultimately they're both going to die. I think he's going to defeat the Mountain first, but I think the Hound's going to die. Before you answer, I have like, uh, so what about Arya's like thing list? Oh, the Mountain's right on the it. List, yeah. Oh, so, the mountain is on it. Yeah. The I'm hound was too. About her. Yeah, but the, the hound was too. So was I, I feel like they, yeah. So was Jaffa. There were a lot of people on that list yeah. that she yeah. was able to, to get to. to but now, but now, they're all dying, though. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they, they're off her list, but I don't know. I, I feel, think there's only what, one. What if she, like, helps him out or something? Like, she sees the hound, like, in trouble or something. She just, she, I don't know. Maybe. That'd be crazy. Maybe. Like, they both can I don't know. I definitely think the game is going to happen. I think Sandor's horror story arc is, is, him becoming, him being a monster to like showing his soft side mm -hmm. and caring for Arya and mm -hmm. showing that he does, he does have a heart, right? And, yeah. and like, you see the source of his pain. Like we, we see him as this monster who, who butchered the Baker's boy in episode mm -hmm. one and, mm -hmm. and had no, he didn't feel bad about it at no all. So, so yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy that you see the, the, the character development from, from that cold, cold blooded character until mm -hmm. the guy you see now who is, who does have a, a human heart. You know, he the, loves the, chicken too. Yeah, he does. Oh, I was just oh gonna God. say that. Chicken and pork, yeah. yeah, he does. I was just gonna say that. But I think his whole story arc is, 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 is tied to the mountain. Like he, he can't die until he settles that score with, with, with Gregor. Like, mm. and, like, and like for me, um, I wanna ask you this question. So like, so you think the game will happen in the middle of the, of the war against the, night, the dead and living? Yes. Okay, mm. well, I, 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 I don't think so. I would I love, no. I would, no. I, I'll be happy either way. Um, <laughs> But I do think I do think Sandor um, kills the mountain. I, I, I do think the hound dies, um, in, not in the process, but somewhere in, in the middle of that, in the middle of that, of that war. So it, this just popped in my head. We all know that the the hound has like a fear of fire, and we're kind of slowly seeing yeah. him kind of overcome that fear. Do you think that if if he comes down to he's the game bowl, do you think he's going to kill his brother? Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be epic. That would be that, yeah. so like, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, somehow. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay, so the a couple of years ago, the Hound he made a surprise return. Um, which characters do we think are coming back this season that, that we haven't seen in maybe last season or seasons, you know, from some of the beginning seasons? Is there someone that we think of that's for sure coming back, or just that you have a good idea that they're going to make a return? Is so, Melisandre for the, sure? Darren Harris. I think. I think oh, yeah, Darren Harris. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this is yes. this is the war against the dead. Like, so if you're if you're the general or the queen or king or whoever, you're bringing in all your all your your generals, all all the men that you can possibly gather up. Yeah, right. I think she sends a raven. Well, I don't know about sending a raven over to Essos, but I think she sends word to Den uh, to Dario to bring to bring second that. sons and mm. and the rest of the army that that, that was that was you know men and down. Uh, or maybe Marine. he just comes but, on his own accord. Yeah, well, there too. Because he didn't want to be left behind. Yeah. You know? What if they're part of the gold company? Maybe. Ooh. I mean, Ooh, what could they got be? hired? Yeah. Pockets. Second sons were bought out. That would yeah. be so petty by him, man, to, really like, to leave but Marines. would that make sense for the show? It kind of would. It would. Yeah, it, would. would. It, would it would make sense. Um, I, I hope not, though. I, I, I would hope that he's not that petty to leave Marine to join the Gordon Company. Because mm -hmm. um, he, cause he, hey, even though it was a different actor in season, season three, he promised his sword to her, mm -hmm. promised his life to her. You his, know, heart. his heart. His yeah. heart. So, I mean, he, he made, he made a, he made a vow. Something, something else, sorry. <laughs> I mean, you know. Do you think the same actor's going to come back? Yeah. Or is he going to bring a brand new one? <laughs> oh, my God. We should bet on that. Third time's a charm. Yeah. yeah. Well, there, there's been three three mountains. Yeah. Uh, there's been two Darren Aharises. There's been two um, Night Kings, mm -hmm. actually. There's been two Tommins. There's been two Marcellas. Um, yeah, anything's possible at this yeah. point. I'll say a new one. Anyway. Um, I... <laughs> new Dario. <laughs> I like Frank. I, I do think Darian Harris uh, would come back, just mainly because yeah. I like looking at him. Um, <laughs> yes. Hey, you know. he is dreamy. Is yes. there anybody else? That, yeah. I personally, and you guys can agree or disagree, obviously, but I I would like to see Jack and Agar come back, cool. um, and kind of because Jack and Agar, you know, he he serves um, the many faced god, and he's a faceless assassin. He's no one. Um, he trained Arya, and Arya is now back in Westeros. Not saying like he's gonna come back and like I don't know try to fight her or anything like that, but yeah. maybe because he is no one, maybe he joins the Second Sons or he joins the Golden Company and somehow mm -hmm. makes his way to Westeros, and somehow we're gonna see him come back. Um, again, I like looking at him too, so um, <laughs> I like to see Jack and Agar come back. That'd be cool. Okay. No, uh, uh, anybody you, you like looking at that you'd like to see come back? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. No, I like that. I, like I think, I think Melisandre's going to come back because yeah. I think she has I like looking at her. 
so. I think we get yeah. until she takes a new or off. old version. Until she takes a necklace off, both. you're like, oh man. I have a thing for both versions. <laughs> so, uh, no, no. But yeah, I think she's gonna come back. Uh, well, she, she said like she had to die in the in strange, strange country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. she told that to Lord Varys, and, yes. and she said yeah. just like you. And he's like, "Well, what about what about Varys? Are we gonna see him again? Like, you think oh, he's gonna? Oh, he's still there. Yeah. He's but do you think he's gonna play like a role or anything, or he's gonna do anything to betray anyone? Ooh, that's hard that because he he too. constant like in the very beginning of season one, he was definitely for putting a Targaryen back on the throne. Yeah. The wrong Targaryen, uh, oh, yes. I because Vis- Viserys was just nuts. Nuts, mm-hmm. you know. Um, his death scene was fantastic, oh, by the way. Man, poor so cold. good, so good. Um, but but Varys is always not. I won't say always. He claims he's wanting to serve serve the realm. Let's yeah. keep in mind he's actually not from from Westeros. He's very much a foreigner and yeah. outsider. But he wants to follow or support whomever is going to be best for the realm. Um, his allegiance obviously has, you know, changed from yeah. you know ruler to ruler. But yeah. he's he's a LeBron of Game of Thrones. But you know what? <laughs> I, he really you know, is. I was thinking. I was going to say. I think he's from Cleveland anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I think in that's a, that's in ways, line, right? I think in ways, Varys is like Littlefinger. Littlefinger would always Both manipulate yeah. and find ways to better serve himself. And I think right. ultimately, Varys is kind of like that too because he wants to survive. But I think he has better intentions than like Littlefinger oh, yeah. did. But I don't think Varys is that stupid to like betray da- Daenerys. Daenerys put him on blast and like she did. something like that. Yeah. He betrayed me. I'm 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 gonna watch I'll, you burn. And she says it yeah. like so like I'll burn you alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like I don't, so like with Varys knowing that hey, the the Daenerys is watching me. Let me let me watch how how I move. I don't think he's that bold to to actively switch sides or actively uh, betray Daenerys. So. What if like he just wants to be on the throne? Like ultimately, he he wants to be on the throne. Wasn't that kind of in season that one? That kind of was talked about. Was, it's him and Littlefinger. Him Littlefinger. Yeah. They, they, they were in there. It. Yeah. And they look at the was throne. one of them up there? Or were they just near it? I can't they, remember. They, they, they were, were both near it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they both look at it. Right. Scene, right. And, and, like, and Littlefinger had more or less asked Varys, you know, mm-hmm. do, you know, do you see yourself? And he's like, I must be one of the very few people who actually yeah. does it. But then again, you're playing the game. Like, who right. are you speaking to? You're speaking to Littlefinger. Littlefinger is, you know, cunning, and well, he was. Um, yeah. <laughs> he was. was not anymore. Um, I don't know. I, I think there's similarities between the two, but I I, I want to believe that Varys actually like has better intentions, not just for himself, but for the realm in general. Yeah, right. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, Littlefinger, he was in love with. Uh, who was he in love with? Sansa. Sansa. Well, Sansa. first Catelyn. Catelyn, Catelyn yeah. then Sansa. So, then Sansa and then Liza. Right. Right. <laughs> so, so there's some love in Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, so let's make a little transition here to. Who will who will Brienne end up with? Who would you like to see Brienne oh, end up oh with? Oh man, Jamie or Tormund? If we even get any kind of romantic uh, coupling of anybody in this season, what would you like to see? Perfect. Jamie and Brienne or uh, Tormund and Brienne? Personally, for me, I want to see walling giant giant blind, babies, hybrid babies, man. Wait, like, they, they could right. be ginger too. Or Ginger, yeah, I'm. I'm and I, that I, could I, be a spinoff series, probably. Yeah. Oh my like god! A, like, a, like a family comedy that. on ABC. Or oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> definitely yeah. watch that. Yeah. Giants definitely. Bane. Right. Um, Giants babies. Yeah. The, to, uh, he is. He is really the comic relief of Game of Thrones. He's yeah. funny. He's, he's like funny. he. He's funny. In, in, in he's his funny. in his gloom and doom right. show, he's one. He's one of the few guys that actually brings true comedy to the mm-hmm. series, yeah. and like, and to see that full screen with Brienne, I would love to see that. Beyond Game of Thrones, I, I think share some of his lines. I'm kidding. No, no, no. 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 We can't say what he we said. Can't say whole lines. <laughs> Just watch it. But he, but he did ask when when uh, John and, and company go beyond the wall and and they meet up with Tormund at Eastwatch. Uh, you know, Tormund does ask. You know. Did you bring the big woman? And it's just like, <laughs> like who refers to people like that? Tormund does. Yeah. You know. Um, so, I personally, um, I want Brienne and Jamie to. I'm shipping for that entirely um, because Jamie has only been with Cersei. Cersei, right. Cersei has not been as loyal. She's no. obviously been with their cousin, Lancel. You know, keeping it all in the family, cool, whatever. Do, right. do what you gotta do. Um, family ties. Family ties. Well, the Targaryens cool. did it. Why can't? Not cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Targaryens for, did for it. For the show, it's cool, but not, <laughs> not cool in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because the Targaryens did it, you know, Cersei's like, well, right. you know, why not too? You know, yeah. Jamie and I belong together. But you know, she hasn't always been faithful. Um, uh, Jamie, in his captive time with Brienne and the Boltons, um, we saw a different side of Jamie. 
you know, he obviously lost his hand. Um, he wanted to basically die. Um, but he started opening up a little bit more. He obviously um, kind of warned Bran, you know, tonight they're going to rape you. And, and when that almost came into play, he tried to um, barter with uh, the Boltons and, and say, you know, you, do you know who she is? Her father will pay her weight in, in yeah. sapphires and things like that. So he was, you know, kind of showing a softer side. Um, I think ultimately Bran makes Jamie better. A better person in general, right. because she would refer to him as the Kingslayer, and and when he finally told her about you know what this I, is what happened with the Mad King, and this is why I did what I did, you know, you make all these oaths, but then you know what happens when the Mad, Mad King tells you to murder all these people? Mm-hmm. Um, so after that, Bran had like a newfound respect for him, and she would mm-hmm. call him Sir Jamie. I think there's like this Jamie just doesn't want to admit his affection towards yeah. Brienne. Um, but I ultimately want Brian and, and yeah. Jamie to be I th- together. I think she definitely changed Jamie, like, and turned him into like a nicer person. Mm-hmm. Like he was, he was not cool. Like in the beginning, he, was like a he, he threw right. a kid off of a window. Yeah. So well, he push. did it for love, though. He push. did it for the love. The things I do for love. Yeah. Yeah. Through push, the same yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 But uh, I, I don't want to see Brian end up with Jamie. I want to see her end up with Tormund because Tor- the way he looks at her is, right. is as he's eating, his as he's chicken. eating his chicken. <laughs> right. That's love. I just, that's I, love. I mean, that's love. I want a girl to look at me the same way Torment looks at Brienne. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's adorable. But the reason, the reason I think I don't think Jamie is going is going to be with Brienne. I don't think Jamie makes it makes it live. No, don't tell show. me that. No, I, I just because like because like his whole character arc is is him being tied to Cersei and like. They say multiple times we came in this world together, we're gonna to die together. And yeah, like they are. And, right. and whether they die together as a as a loving unit or they die as Yeah. They both they get burned as, at the same time. Yeah, right. or or it's Jamie just, or Jamie yeah. comes to Queen Slayer and, and saves the kingdom again right. by stabbing the queen in the back. Yeah. Or in the stomach or in the belly or whatever. But mm. I just don't and, and I can see Jamie I can see a, a Shakespearean type of ending with Jamie just For offering sure. himself after after getting rid of Cersei. Yep. No. I no. I, I think because, you know, he, he will realize like the end is coming and you know, I better like, you know uh, Make babies with Bran. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um and then because because of his now affection with, with Bran, he's gonna, you know, completely turn on Cersei and be like, you know what, you're the mad queen and I'm going to you mm. know, kill you. So we'll see. Okay. Wait, eighth and final question. In the end, which character do you believe will sit on the Iron Throne and why? Mm. I don't think there is an Iron Throne. Yeah. No Iron Throne? Throne? I, I think, I think this whole, sh- this show does a great you job. You think it's like a stool like, or something? Like they just change it? Like <laughs> think, it's, maybe it's, it's ergonomics, cool. like you want to have like a standing desk <laughs> or something? I mean, it's better for your health, I heard that. Yeah, I it think, is. Well, Sitting like, is the new smoking, I've read it, that. It yeah, is, yeah, no, no, for sure. Um, I, I think this show does a great job of like, uh, of like evolving the narrative. Like the first four or five seasons was all about I, I want the power, I want the political advantage of being king or queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. I think season seven showed that none of that, none of that matters. Like, we just need to live. Like, right. whoever's right. alive, we all fighting on the same side against the, against the dead. True. And, I think, and I think the White Walkers and Night King is, has been a, a, a learning tool for everybody like, you know what, screw all this political, all this political stuff. Let's just fight and live. Mm-hmm. And I think when it's all said and done, I think, I think the majority of Westworld gets destroyed. And, mm-hmm. And I think the rebuilding process after the, at, in the aftermath of, of, of the White Walker threat is going to be all about rebuilding. And I think the Seven Kingdoms are going to be individually ran um, yeah. once again. Yeah. Okay. I, I definitely agree with Frank on this one. Um, I definitely think that um, I, I still I'm, I'm awfully obviously shipping for uh, Daenerys to you know be on the throne. Um, but to your point, I think she kind of will just manage like King's Landing and Dragonstone. The North will go back to the Starks. Um, I want to see Samuel Tarly um, kind of take over the Reach now that the Tyrells are gone. Mm. Um, you know that that kind of thing. So you know, like the, the the regions are are no longer going to be part of one kingdom. They're just going to be like their own. And to piggyback off of you, um, how you said uh, Brienne made Jamie a better person, mm-hmm. I think John's making Daenerys a better person. I think John is showing is I, yeah. John's personality is showing Daenerys like, hey man, I I leave because it's my duty. I don't mm-hmm. do it because I feel that's my birthright. Right. Mm-hmm. These people entrust me to protect them. I'm gonna protect them. And I think Daenerys is gonna look at John, you know, subconsciously as a, as a role model. Like, you know what? 
these titles don't matter. Mm-hmm. These, these queen of queen of dragons and queen of the, the great salt sea and all this stuff. It's just titles. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, yeah. we just gotta live, man, and and, and fight this this pending threat. Mm-hmm. That's good. Steve, what George? do you think, George? I think uh, Hot Pie is gonna sit on the Iron Throne, <laughs> and uh, he's with, he's gonna with solve his everything. direwolf bread. Yes, it's high pie theories. No, no, yeah. No. Is he gonna like gonna have like? Is he gonna franchise out his bakeries or yes. something? Is that? <laughs> oh, he's, he's gonna give. I could, He's gonna solve the war, dude. He's gonna give. Yeah. He's gonna give the Night King a, 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 that little direwolf bread. He's gonna eat it. He's like, wow. Why are we even fighting? <laughs> right. It, it, did, did, why? Right. The, the right. secret is to. And yeah. it's gonna turn him back into yeah. Human. The secret is to brown the butter first. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because the Night That's King. That's going to be his first word. <laughs> <laughs> the Night King didn't have a reason to live until he tasted, until he tasted his that. bread. Yeah. And then. Does he turn back into a human? Yes, that's, that's okay. the magical power of his. They could be hot pie bread. slogan. So good, bring you back to life. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's good. good. Right? I like there that. You go. That could be a slogan, bro. That's good. Yeah. I like that. That could be our lot. slogan. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bakery. We'll which a bakery we will have this. a bakery. Oh no, God. but I'm kidding. Uh, I, oh come on! No, no. Gotta, I, I wish stick, I, stick that would be great. No, but I, I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna sit on the throne. I think okay. it, like Frank. I, anyway, said, is that including no the Night one. King? No, yeah, no, even him. Okay. Some, some's gonna like I think everything's just gonna. I don't know, but I don't think there's gonna be like a throne per se. Like everyone's running individually, maybe like, but I don't think it's gonna be like the, all the seven kingdoms anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm. I agree. I've thought that all along yeah. or since last season that there's no one's gonna win I mean it's just and the, and the show's all about it's all about changing the old guard it's all about right. breaking the wheel right yeah. like, that's what the next season five saying, yeah. but like look at the examples of like the old guard being changed in Game of Thrones like John who was a who was a bastard he became the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch and King mm-hmm. of the North mm-hmm. Cersei the in the 300 years since Aegon's landed there's never been a female Ruler. Leader, ruler of all seven kingdoms. Right. Cersei's that she, she's that chick now. Like she mm-hmm. is the she is the, the ultimate ruler. Yeah. You know, Jamie, um, Jamie essentially <laughs> left the King's Guard. You don't leave the King's Guard. You die in the King's Guard. He right. left to go up to the north. So this show just shows you. That well, no, how... he had already been dismissed of the King's Guard by Tommen because when they right. yeah. went to go uh, attack the the Faith, you know, the Sept, and that's when Tommen like stripped him of, okay. of the King's Guard. Well, good point. So. Well, good, good, good point. Good point. There you go. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's all about, Game of Thrones is all about evolving and, and changing the old ways and, and pretty much making your own path. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Seth, final question, actually, I kind of lied. One quick bonus question. How dare you. Give me one character that will for sure live, that you think for sure, you bet all the money in the world, all the gold that the Lannisters have. They don't have any. <laughs> Well, they the, it, the Iron it, Bank. They, all, the, they, all the gold <laughs> in the Iron Bank. I watched the show, too. I know some stuff. Um, you know nothing, yeah, Justin. I, I know just enough. Um, so you, give me one character that you think for sure will survive. Hot pie. Hot pie? Because <laughs> the bakery, I mean, it's it's like McDonald's, but for No, I'm bakers. serious. He, he'll survive. Think, <laughs> he'll, he'll survive. I, Do we even see but him? But Arya That's says to him, don't alive. die. You know, you, know? you got the hot take hot pie of it, like, no, he'll, he'll be alive. <laughs> yeah. No, and someone's definitely gonna die. I think Daenerys is gonna die. Okay. Oh. But Hot Pie's gonna be alive. That hurts me right mm-hmm. there. That hurts. Yeah. So who's who's gonna survive? Who think for sure will survive? Who will definitely die? Who so, will survive? Yeah. Um, Sam Tarly. I say Sam Tarly because um, to quote Lord of the Rings, um, everyone needs a Sam. Um, okay. I think his arc has completely changed too from season one to now. Uh, he was a coward. He was basically kicked out of his family by his father and. Um, you know, he wanted to be a wizard, you know, I did too. Um, but, (laughs) um, (laughs) but, you know, he's grown, he's grown so much. Um, he's learned a lot while being in the Night's Watch. He's killed a White Walker. He's killed a Then. He Mm -hmm. has learned the secret to killing White Walkers. Mm -hmm. He also found someone that loves him and has a family with that person. And not that anyone else doesn't have a reason to live, but like, he's got responsibilities. He has a family, you know, that he, he's trying to protect. Um, but I don't think his story is over. I think he very much um, has a story to tell. And I think it's very much this story of A Song of Ice and Fire. That's just my opinion. Um, but in terms of who's going to die, Cersei. She needs to, she needs to go. Oh, she okay. needs to die. Not just because of prophecy. She just needs to go. Yeah. Like, she, she's monstrous. She's probably the most evil person left on the show. If you were to ask, like, Night King or Cersei, Cersei. Yeah. Like, yeah. For sure. Well, Night King doesn't have much of a character, you know? Um, doesn't say much. That's He's kind of silent. He doesn't say much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty silent. But he did yeah. kill a dragon, and that's pretty messed up. I mean, 
He was, he, he was he kind of, he was but then he brought it back. He brought it back. He brought it back. Yeah, but no, but for evil, evil doing. I think he's misunderstood. I really do. Yeah. Um, I think for sure with that shot. Without a shot of a doubt, I think John lives. I, I don't John see lives, him dying okay. twice in one story. Yep. Yeah. And I think I agree. I agree with that. And I think his his story arc, like being just a nobody, like mm-hmm. yeah. well, he's he's really a somebody. We find out he's a yeah. of seven kingdoms, but from his story arc of like being a bastard and like not being able to to have any lands or titles, and really just being a, a forgotten Stark right. to mm-hmm. now become the king of the north and possibly the the, the heir of the seven kingdoms. Um I think he I think the story arc around him, I think he has to live. Yeah. Um, the, the maturation process of, of who he, he has been to now, who he is now, mm-hmm. I, think, I think he lives. I think he lives. Okay. What about you, Justin? What do you think? Wait, 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 wait. But who does he think is going to die? Oh. I thought you Can't skip it. over that. Uh, I thought you said it. Great one. I think, I think he dies. Either. He's too... He's too brave to not die. Like, he, he's yeah. like... I think outside of John, he's the other guy. He's second in line. is like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sacrifice, sacrifice myself for the greater good. I can yeah. see him doing that. And like... And like the, the 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 flourishing love story between him and Melisandre, I mean, I mean, Miss Sunday. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the M's got me messed up. The uh, the love story between Miss Sunday and him is is doomed to to end in death. Look at every love story in that in in the Game of Thrones story. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 Sh- is it Shy? Uh, Shay. T- Shay. Shay. Shay and Tyrion. John and uh, John and in, in, in the redhead. <laughs> Danny, yeah, Danny and um, Dan, Danny and uh, Drogo, Danny and, and Donna Harris. Well, it's more nah. love. No, 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 but there's no, one good one. No there's Donna one good one. Sam and Gilly. Now we, we still got six more episodes left. We don't know if he's, they're we, gonna live. We don't know if, if well, him they're or gonna, gonna live. live. Yeah. They're gonna live. But Sam will live. Don't is, know if family will. Right. But every love story they're becomes good. sad. Ned and Catelyn, like, I mean, every every love story is sad. And it, it ends in a. Either in death or in some type of What about of Littlefinger way. and Lysa? Was that a, that was how, real. Was that real? <laughs> For Lysa, it was. <laughs> oh, that's awful. And, and she, she said, we had our wedding night. That's awful. Long time and ago. She ended up dying, so, you know. That's true. Yeah. I have no hope for Grey Worm. No hope. No. It's over. Okay. It's a wrap. How quickly does he die? I think Is he it dies the first five minutes of the first season, <laughs> season uh, premiere? Or? I think it's the War of Winterfell. I think episode... This, Based on the script, I think episode three. I think he sacrifices himself to save some northern children or something, and he ends up getting killed by a white worker general. Okay. okay. So I, I think Danny's going to live. I think uh, really? she's one of the main characters. I don't think they're going to kill off all the main characters. Um, I think she survives. That's what we said about Ned Stark. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, I think Cersei dies. I, think, I agree with you. I think she's mm-hmm. the most evil person. I think it's, you know, so many people want to kill her. I think... I think Jamie will kill her in some form or fashion, mm-hmm. and that's going to be how we wrap up her storyline. So one king, one one queen lives, one queen dies, and uh, can I just say I want Liana Mormont to be queen oh, of yeah. Bear Island? She could be cool. She's queen. just amazing. Yeah, she's like, super cool. Being ten year old and being able to like conduct a room full of grown men who right. are seasoned in war and what have you, and just put them in their place. Boss, like she's amazing. Like, yeah. and not be intimidated. I mean, those guys have 60, 55, 60 years of experience on yeah. her, and he, she doesn't yeah. bat an eye. Yeah. 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 She's a G. Yeah, she's a G. Speaking of Mormont, we didn't mention Jorah one time. I don't think anyone mentioned Jorah. Uh-huh. The friend zone. What, what happens to him? Poor guy. He'll probably die. He dies. He dies. Okay. He'll probably die. He dies. Okay. What, how does he die? Sacrificing himself for Danny. Khaleesi, okay. I love you. <laughs> some, some, um, something, something like that? Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Okay. Something yeah, like that. I think. Yeah, I think with the White Walkers too. I think a a big portion of the of the male fighters die. Yeah. Can you imagine uh, yeah. coming back and like beating Grayscale to just die? <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist: Grayscale comes back, and that's how you defeat the the Night King. You touch the Night King, uh, and Grayscale. then he gets Grayscale, and then <laughs> oh, he dies. Okay. <laughs> New theory, new idea. Would it be Ice Scale if if you did? Would it be Ice Scale? Yeah. Yeah. How quickly would that like progress? I have no idea. Hmm. And if you touch the Night King, doesn't something happen to you too? Like, is there like a we touch and around, Jorah right? becomes the new Night King. <gasps> Could be. No, I don't know. I hope not. I really like Jorah. Okay, extra bonus question. <laughs> do the dragons live? What happens to the dragons? There's all, well, there's, I mean, I there's, think they all die. there's three, I guess, if you count the, the yeah. resurrected one. Yeah. But I, think, I think they all die. Maybe, they all die. Maybe, maybe okay. the big one. The I think Drogon. Okay. No, I, I, think, think, I think they all okay. die. I think Drogon lives. I think, I think Rhaegal, I think Rhaegal gets murked. Um, but I think Drogon. Okay. Maybe, maybe they, yeah. No, I think they all die. I think when the Night King is defeated, because I do think that, 
uh, everything that he's touched, created, all his generals, all the White Walkers, including Viserion, they're all going to die. Um, Rhaegal dies somehow. Viserion dies again. Um, but I ultimately think Drogon's actually going to die somehow by protecting Daenerys. Mm. Um, I think they're all going to die. I don't think, you know, Westeros is ready for dragons to be back in the world. So I mean, dragons, dragons get extinct again? Yeah. But I hope that they have, like, dragon eggs beforehand because, like, dragons can be male and female yeah. when it's needed. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. And that sets up, like, a sequel series, maybe. That'd be down awesome. The road. I would watch it. That'd be cool. I watch anything that's Game of Thrones related. Yeah, so it is sequel. Cool, How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That that's, actually that's where it picks is. Up. That's a sequel. That actually is like an animated version of Game of Thrones yeah. because like the accents are that's spot funny. on. Yeah. Uh, just the regions are is pretty spot on. <laughs> it made me laugh when I first watched it. I'm like this is just children Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> we good? Any, any final statements? Any final crazy predictions you want to put out there before we um, call it a show? I think we're just all going to be wrong, and uh, <laughs> we're all gonna be wrong. And, and that, that's, that's 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 all that's yeah. going to happen. So yeah. we're all going to be wrong. We'll discuss it every week. So yeah, I think that'd be cool. I think going back to my point of I think Cersei just has to die. Um, I ultimately think the prophecy about her is going to come true somehow, but I think it's also going to be by the hands of. Arya, mm. because the fact that be she cool. is a faceless assassin, I think Jamie unfortunately is going to die. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I think he's gonna die. I think Arya's gonna somehow find his face. She's gonna take his face, become Jamie, wait. and then go kill Cersei because Cersei was is now like number one on her list. Wait a minute, how? Wait, wait, hold on. You saying two different things? In, in one second you said Jamie and Bran will live happily ever after. And no, 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 no. I didn't say they live happily ever after. I say I want them to be together. She said she wants. Uh, she I just want them to be happen. together. For like five minutes before he dies. Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let, let Bran experience love. You know what I mean? Like Tormund's there. Tormund's right there. And she he, doesn't love. Tormund. He loves her. He loves her, but she doesn't love him. She, she loves yes. Jamie. She ain't getting a chance. <sighs> She, she's she's glared at Tormund twice in like in like sickening ways. And no doubt, like it's looks like looking at her, man. He's yeah. like, <laughs> he's the chicken. And then when they're sitting on the horses and she looks at him, he's like, it's violent. Uh. Yeah, it's it's admiration. It's it's yeah, I think it's love, man. I think Tormund's just, gonna oh, die. Oh, he loves her. Like yeah. I think Tormund's gonna die even before like anything happens between like oh, Brienne. Man. He's gonna try and save her or something like. But no, no, that's no. How he I, dies. I think I ultimately think that Jamie will die. In King's Landing, like I said earlier, the war is going to come to King's Landing. That's how everyone's going to be there. Uh, but Arya's going to pick up his, you know, face and and become Jaime and go and kill Cersei. So the war, so so you're saying the war is going to last up to episode six? Oh yeah, I, I think yes. it wholeheartedly has to. I think so too. I make a world prediction. I think the war is over by episode five, and I think the, the end of five and rest of six is them picking up the pieces and ousting Cersei as as the queen regent, or queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. I think it's going to go all the way to season six. Because then there would be like an epilogue or something, and then mm. it's kind of like that rebuilding thing that you're talking about, mm -hmm. but I think it goes all the way to season six. Yeah. Uh, season six, sorry, episode six. We, you know who wrote this tape, right? When we are. We're, we're, we're recording. Okay. I think uh, we are. I hope we are. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I agree with Frank. I think it's going to kind of wrap up the war of the battles by season by episode five and then by the sixth episode Bran is actually going to be the builder he's going to be building hot pie <laughs> hot pie bakeries are going to be the thing like that's yeah yeah we're going to walk away thinking about hot pie so nice. we should have like hot pie or like we should like it's cold in here again I know it is. we're in the basement we're not yeah. kidding with you people we're, it's, it's cold it's cold in here cold. oh my gosh that's cold. why Frank's wearing this yes. yeah and you're wearing this yeah. and you're he, he oh, went to a and he's wearing a longhorn yeah. uh, hoodie <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, That's so it's, sacrilegious. it's, it's that cloak. cold. It's I, that cold. I am a turncloak. Kind of <laughs> oh That's okay. I'm wearing like A&M colors technically, so right. like he's he's okay. Like yeah, he's okay. Okay, <laughs> hey guys, good, good job in the first one. Uh, that'll be all for this week. Uh, please join us next week as we talk about the season premiere, uh, season eight premiere of Game of Thrones. And please be sure to subscribe and let us know what you think of the show, and and let us know like who who your picks are, who's gonna live, who's gonna die. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, the basement is dark and full of terrors. <laughs>